Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sid, and I know I usually do my Let's Talk videos uh, with a script and describing different elements of the games, but today I just wanted to do a little bit of an offhand uh, explanation of Ghost Recon Online. Um, I thought it was a little bit better, and yeah. Alright, so Ghost Recon Online, when I first saw this game, like when it was actually being announced, I thought it wasn't going to be anything relevant to the previous Ghost Recon games because... Um, I played the original ones on um, for Xbox and PlayStation 2 and you know growing up as they they um, keep making these Ghost Recon games I thought it was gonna be nothing like it so since I got the new computer I was like I have to try this out and when I tried it I was extremely extremely shocked by how um, it is exactly like the previous Ghost Recon games it is very very tactical i have to say indeed because um with the gameplay i have now when i was playing i really wasn't paying attention to uh helping my teammates out or uh being very tactical and a, a sense of strategy uh, i was always running up on people to think if it was actually like a, a fps for example because I'm, I'm always stuck in that same scenario that when you're playing a first person shooter you're just running around and you're killing people you're there's no sense of teamwork and there's no sense of uh tactical strategy you just have a gun and you gotta go around shoot people and get xp for it now this game totally different it's very different and it is uh it's a wonderful experience for people who love that nitty gritty type of tactical and strategic gameplay that they would like to see um for me, I, I love tactical games because I can get into it. Uh, it really doesn't tend to get boring like some first-person shooters, I'm sorry to say. But it is really an interesting game. Now, um, describing how uh, classes and player customization would be. Uh, classes, uh, the game breaks down into three different types of classes. They have Assault, Recon, and Specialist. Now, I don't even know if I have it in the right order, but it doesn't matter. Um, each of these classes has its own ability. Now, depending on what soldier you are, a uh, good example is my recon character. He has the ability to cloak. Now, with the ability to cloak, um, this is a really good advantage to your team because if you're trying to go and sneak up on enemies or you're trying to capture an objective, this is the best way to do it is to do it with cloak. It is very limited, I'm going to say that, and it takes a while to recharge, which is a little bit of a shame, but um, I guess they wanted to uh, limit down on the amount of time the players can use their ability so they wouldn't be uh, abusing it, in other words. So, um, all three of the classes have their own abilities, and depending on what type of soldier you are, if you stay behind lines or if you're in front of battle, um, it varies very well. So... Uh, another good thing is um, character customization. Now, with character customization, a lot of people who have been playing uh, MMO FPS games, a good example would be Alliance of Valiant Arms or other games that have to deal with uh, similar uh, reverence. It is, it's really um, kind of annoying in a sense to... Uh, when you're when you're trying to customize your character, you would always have to go and buy a weapon, and it would be a time limit on. It would last three days, five days, excuse me, or it would last a month. And every time, the time period keeps running out and out and out and out. It, um, I would say it gets kind of annoying because you would have to uh, constantly spend in-game cash on getting the weapon that you always like or you just want to try out now when i when i first started playing this i thought okay this is kind of fine but later on i noticed that a lot of people a lot of companies tend to do this uh to keep players playing all the time instead of uh buying one thing and always keeping it now i'm not really sure but ghost recon has the system where you would go and buy a weapon and you would keep it for a, a long time until, you know, whenever you're able to, until you can sell it. Now, I'm not really sure if there is a time limit. Um, I haven't paid attention to it, but uh, there is a large variety in weapons. So I would say that this would take away the ability of keeping a time limit on it. Is because if they would constantly 
uh, put new weapons and armor, uh, it would be a lot more easier and it wouldn't be a nuisance to go and keep constantly refilling uh, your time limit to a certain weapon that you would like to use. Now, that, that puts everything asleep. Ghost Recon Online, when you customize your character, um, that puts everything to sleep. I would recommend this game to anybody who uh, just recently got, you know, a good gaming rig and you're like, hey, I need some free-to-play games because I don't feel like spending money on Steam, even though Steam has really good sales. Uh, yeah, so check this game out. It is in the description down below. Uh, if you have a good PC, make sure to check your PC uh, specs. Depending on the game, because if you have a low rig, um, this probably might not be the best chance. So thank you guys for watching. This is Sick Kraken. Peace.